So when dad came to Oregon, he wanted to plant varieties that he knew worked well in Northern Europe. And these were varieties that were largely unknown outside of California, including Pinot Noir. There was not a lot of Pinot Noir planted in California in the 1960s. And so um, Pinot Noir, obviously, and then Chardonnay, both the sort of the two great grapes of, of Burgundy. Um, he also uh, had access to some Pinot Gris cuttings in Davis's collection. There were three vines, no, excuse me, four vines in Davis's collection, and he was able to take some Pinot Gris. It was the first commercial planting of Pinot Gris that we know of. Um, he also brought up Pinot Blanc, and um, what he thought was Gamay, but turned out to be a clone of Pinot Noir, mislabeled by Davis. And he also brought up some kind of interesting, you know, varieties that still today are not very widely recognized. And so uh, Pinot Meunier is one of these varieties. It's a red grape. It's in the Pinot family. Um, and you've probably had it before if you've ever had um, um, Champagne, because it's about one third of the planted acreage in Champagne. Um, of course, in Champagne, they, they pick the red grapes and they bring them in really quickly and they put them in the press and they press them and the juice that comes out is white. And so, um, uh, Meunier Champagnes, uh, you know, are the same color as Champagnes made from Chardonnay. But you can, you can ferment it like Pinot Noir. You can leave the, the, you know, take the stems off the Pinot Meunier, put the berries in a fermenter, let them ferment, and during that fermentation process, the color gets extracted from the skins and you wind up with a, it's not a deep red wine, but it's a red wine. And really, really interesting, especially in comparison to Pinot Noir. So I like to steal a metaphor that I heard applied to the wines of Musigny. Uh, uh, this winemaker was saying that, that Bon Mar is the crazy uncle in, in the Musigny family. And I feel like in the Pinot Noir family, uh, Pinot Meunier is the crazy uncle, right? It's, it, it's the one who comes to the Thanksgiving dinner, doesn't know what fork to use, tells off color jokes in front of the kids. It's, it, Pinot Meunier is very earthy. Um, it's got really, really vibrant acidity. It's not particularly uh, dense in its, you know, color or its um, uh, structure, but uh, has a very, you know, can have a very long finish. Um, I think it goes great with, you know, sort of things that have earthy characters there, of their own. So, you know, we're right in the middle of wild mushroom season here in November in Oregon, and, and, and there's nothing better with wild mushrooms than Pinot Meunier.